Hello, I think last time, if you saw my first video, you saw how I tested a pump using solar panels to run the pump to see the feasibility of setting up an oyster circulation. And what I have here is the header system that I designed. And that knowing the pump can put out a certain amount of water head and flow rate, I designed this little header. And what we've got here is, this is a typical oyster float, and the oysters are down here, there'd be more oysters in here, and this would actually be sitting down there on the oysters, but for just looking to, to actually see how the water will come out and whether it's got sufficient pressure, I've got it up here so we can look at it a little better. Um, the pump, as before, is actually in a, in a five gallon bucket here, and this five gallon bucket would represent the, the pump being actually in the in the water, the, the salt water, and it actually would be drawing that salt water up and flushing it through this header system and out over the oysters. And the whole purpose of this is that the oysters will grow faster if I can get a circulation of, of water over them, both to bring more nutrient to them so that they'll be fed better as well as to carry the waste away. Now over here, I have my uh, panel. And last time I did the test, I was in the bright noonday sun. Well, it's well after 5 o'clock today, so the sun has come down quite a bit in the sky. But what I've found is that even with the sun late in the day, I've tilted the collectors a little bit. These panels will, will be fixed mounted, but I'll probably find an average angle that will work best. So right now I've sort of got them elevated up to agree with trying to get as perpendicular to the sun as possible to maximize their output. But it is late in the day, so this test is actually sort of a, uh, a more difficult test to see how my header, header system works. So what I'm going to do is actually connect the wire here, which is going to start the solar energy. Now what you're going to note is the, the water is circulating out. Now, if this was an actual operation, this would be underwater. And so while the streams are coming out and going down, if this was actually in water, you wouldn't have gravity actually acting on this water. So the actual current, while we only see it going out like this, the actual current would actually extend out over the whole surface area here. So basically this particular header being powered by the bilge pump with the solar collectors, the solar voltaic panels, it's actually very, very successful. Now, what's happening now is I've just run out of water. But um, I have to say that this experiment really proved out to be very successful. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and mount that in my float. And I'll be able to use the, the solar panels for powering my pump for circulation of the water over the oysters to help them grow. So all in all, it all worked out as, as well as I thought it should. Uh, I might actually eventually experiment to see if maybe one panel could do it, but uh, by using the two panels, it allows me to uh, get more flow throughout the day. 